what up everybody welcome back to the channel today we're just gonna cruise around skate a little bit actually what we're gonna do while we're skating we're gonna go to ooh, way too soon we're gonna go to applewood park actually because i did spot checks for Quebec Skate Plaza and River Fern a couple weeks ago. I didn't do Applewood because I made a video for Applewood when the map originally dropped for PC. But now that they got the optimized version out, we'll hang out here for a little bit, skate around, nothing crazy. But before we find anything to really get into, let's talk about the update itself because that didn't go as smoothly as people hoped. So first, let's talk about what the actual update brought to the game. So now we have this mod browser. And when you click on it, open up, it'll show you what gear and maps are available on this console mod IO. It's like a very heavily nerfed or altered mod IO. So the brands that are here, it's not everything that's available on the actual website, but once you find something you like, you just click on it. Let's click on, I have that. Ooh, I don't like that. Sorry. I found something, ooh, these decks are sick. Oh yeah, those are sick. So once you find something you like, you click install and the bar will pop up here and then it'll let you know here on the bottom that it's been downloaded and installed to the game. And then once you do that, you go to your character or maps or whatever it is you installed and it'll be in the custom deck. Look at these decks. The custom deck tab on their character. Let's see where they put these things. Yeah, they usually throw them here at the bottom, it seems. So yeah, pretty easy. And if you want a map, it's pretty much the same thing. Just click on the maps. I'm on PC, so we got a little bit more maps to choose from, but they're nothing that we haven't had before. So it's like, we didn't get anything extra that console didn't have. All right. So the issue with the update was that when it came out, it was causing all types of problems for users, regardless of what platform you were on. But it was much worse for console, if I'm understanding correctly, than it was for PC. Me, myself, I just ran into the issue of my mods conflicting, which isn't really easy day's problem and my downloaded maps were disappearing every time I booted up the game. But they've since taken care of that. That's actually one of the things they patched already. But beyond that, the game was locking up on load screens. It was blue screening people, crashing completely. Frame rates were dropping really bad in the new maps. And it just became it just got to the point where a lot of console users couldn't play the game. What I'm doing now is I'm gonna pull up Easy Day's Twitter so I can show you guys the statements they've made since the updates come out. Like I said, they've been pretty quick to address what's been going on. And for that, definitely appreciate it. There we go. Let's pull up these tweets here. So this is the first one they put out after the update launched. There we go, that's a better view. To the Skater XL community, as some of you may have noticed, the 1.1 update that launched today has created some unforeseen issues, including mod browser integration crashes on PS4, Riverfern map having performance dips on consoles, and a handful of other bugs. We appreciate you guys bringing details to these specific issues to our attention so we can locate the causes and fix them as soon as possible. Some issues have already been resolved and pushed online, including fixes for missing colliders on Applewood on PS4, 
There was a ledge that didn't have colliders or anything in it, so if you tried to grind it, you would fall straight through the map. And PC error of gear folding, gear folder failing on load. A lot of people on PC lost their custom gear and had to mi migrate it to the map folder for it to pop up, which quite frankly, there are two folders that you don't want to integrate. You want your gear and your map separated. We're confident we can resolve the other issues relatively quickly. Please stay tuned for patch updates shortly. Thanks for your support and patience. Got it, easy day. And then that was on the 16th when the update came out. This next tweet is on the 19th, I believe. Yes. A patch has been released on all platforms that addresses crash issues and issues with downloaded mods disappearing on relaunch of the game. The maps are still being worked on to address frame rate and other known issues and will be re-uploaded to the mod browser as soon as all issues are resolved. Thank you for your support. So as of now, it seems like they haven't been able to fix the issues with River Fern, but they're working on getting that taken care of so everybody can be on a level playing field as far as the update goes. So it's good that once these issues were known that they started addressing them immediately same day as the past they started trying to fix stuff and this is an indie developer with a very small team that is trying to work on this game during a global pandemic so as far as i'm concerned i'm very pleased with the response as far as communication and i'm pleased with them being able to tackle these issues right away considering what's going on i hope that they continue with this open communication because that's always been a problem with the within the community that they've had with easy day not the fact that they're not putting out content that is an issue for people but the fact that they're not giving us any news or updates they're just going radio silent with no con no communication or no anything really and that's the big issue like for me personally i don't care if it's eight months between drops just let me know what's going on let me know hey we're working on this blah 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 whatever communication is key in any relationship including the developer consumer relationship now with that being said let's go ahead and skate this park let's do the cursor tour you guys should all be familiar with this the update's been out i'm recording this on the 20th so the update's been out for some people since the 16th others are just now getting their hands on all this stuff but applewood park is amazing really big map oh what's this over here can you no you can't skate that nice little skate park within the park we have rails, stairs, benches, ledges, all over the place. We got a basketball court with picnic tables because you need that. We got that kink rail. We got this dope obstacle here, bro. Just blasting airs. We got Hollywood High. What's good? So yeah, bro, this map is sick. Check it out. This is my one of my favorite parts is hitting this ledge here and then skating that stair set or even just popping down both stair sets really fun now let's there we go i want to do switch crook and then half cat flip down the stair set now nah, that's switch front side flip bro Let's push a mongo, bro. We ain't to y'all go. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at that. All right. Let's see how dope this is. That's scary. It's a big ass switch crook, bro. This half cat flip. One of my favorite flip tricks. 
yeah. Bolts. That was sick. Try to do a switch back tail. Ah, uh, switch back tail to full cab. I could have, not full cab, it could have been tighter. It was like a little kiss on that back tail. Let's see. I like the fakey up. Yeah, dog. Cool. Mm -hmm. Burly. Oomph. Yeah, that works for me. Let's get some ledges, these ledges. zoned up on this one bro this one is hard it's gonna be dope though that look though Ooh, damn it why did I fall at the end that was dope yeah we can call that right away bro <laughs> does that count That's a, that's a skateboard move. Let's check this shit out before the crash. Can I bump off the trash can? Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna save that one. Let's find one more thing to skate. This isn't gonna be a long video because I already have a spot check for this. So let's do where's a hubba? Like a down one. I wanna do Nolly inward heel, no slide, down something like this. That's probably what I'll just end up skating. Because that ledge is like, that's what I want to do it on. Something like that. Yeah, something like this. I did that first try unexpectedly, but I don't think it looked good, but it's nice to know that it's possible. Yo, that was sick. <laughs> that shit was dope. Yo, that was fucking sick. Yeah, boy, that was fucking. No, replay. <laughs> Bro, that was sick. 
but let's do a real one because that was a 360 heal. There. Mm. The cleanest of clean that trick was. Bro, this is a good trick combo. You know what I mean? The Dolly Inward heel to front nose just looks fucking good. That just looks good. It's a high class trick. Guys. That was dope. <laughs> oh, all right, y'all. That's going to do it for me today. Again, thank you for skating with me as always. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and check out more of my footage. One more of my videos. I got a lot of Skater XL stuff on there. I got some other stuff on there too, if you're interested in any of that. But like I said, thank you for skating with me. I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.